teach you how to play that little run up the diminished scale. Um, these are, this is what are called diminished arpeggios. And they sound pretty cool. So I'll just teach you the four string part of it first. So first let me actually teach you this riff. So 8th fret of the D string, 6th fret G string, 9th fret, then 8th fret B string, 6th fret E string, and then 9th fret E string. What you can do is just pull it back off like a trill. And you can go back down it. Um, it's sweet picked. So what that means is you bring your pick down across the strings like this. You know, across each string that you play. And after you hit the note, like say the 8th fret of the E string, just lift your finger up. Don't do a pull off, but uh, so it doesn't keep sounding, just go like this. It's all about timing with this sweet picking. Just practice those two first notes until you've got it. You know, just lift up your finger as soon as you hit the note. That's really just the basics of sweet picking. Um, I'm sure there's a lot better videos out there. So anyway, after that first one, what I just what I played right after that trill, I went to the 12th fret of the high E string and did the same pattern. So that'd be 12th fret, 9th, 11th fret B string, 12th fret G string. 9th fret, and then back up, 12th fret, 11th fret B string, a 9th fret E string, and then um, I just do the trill again. I just do that once, so so far it sounds like this. one is going to be a little more. So what you're going to do is um, same pattern again, 15th fret E string, 12th fret, 14th fret B string, 15th fret G string, 12th fret, back up, 15th, 14th B string, 12th fret, and then you're going to do it again. But this time, go down to the 14th fret of the D string after you're down here on the 12th fret of the G string. And then back up, 12th fret G string, 15th, 14th uh, B string, 12th fret high string, and then one more trill to the 15th fret. So slow, this sounds like this. I'm sorry, like this. Um, and the last arpeggio here, another diminished, it's going to be the 18th fret of the high E string, 15th, 17th fret B string, 18th fret G string, 15th, back up, 18th, 17th fret B string, 15th E string, and then 18th fret pull off 15th again, 17th fret B string, and then 18th fret G string. And then to end, just hit uh, 17th fret little vibrato. So it's a bend, so it sounds like the 18th fret. And then vibrato it. Sounds kind of cool when you switch from a note to its bend. So the whole thing slow like this. basic diminished arpeggio. And um, I'll teach you the full, well not the full form, but extended, definitely. 
So it's that, um, I'll demonstrate the one, the last arpeggio that we played on the 18th fret of the E string. Stop right there. Then, 17th fret, D string. 19th fret, A string. 16th fret. Then, 18th fret of the low E string. That uses all six strings. So just practice it really slowly. This is a very hard arpeggio. Just because you keep switching from these two fingers, especially down here. Sometimes you'll mix them up and go like this. I, I still can't do it quite right. So that's the full six string part of that. Most times in most guitar solos and other music, the most you'll have to go is um, four strings. Such as this um, solo thing that I showed you. So that's the basics of diminished arpeggios. Uh, I guess I'll go into a little more detail about sweep picking. Uh, let's demonstrate with the one on the 15th fret of the high E string. So if you're not really good at this, um, try down. Try doing uh, backwards first. For whatever, for whatever reason, that just seems easier to me. Which means you go, you drag your pick this way, up towards you. Maybe it's just because it's easier muscle movement for your hand to go like that. But um, if you find this way easier, then um, just practice that a whole lot, and then the other way will come naturally once you've got. Just remember when practicing, make sure you lift up all those fingers. You're going to want to form a chord, which is actually quite hard to do with a diminished arpeggio. Um, and then just play all the strings, but it sounds really bad. It sounds like that. That's why you got to lift up all your fingers. This form you can play anywhere on this on the strings. Oh, another um, technique. If you're having trouble using your first finger for this stuff, uh, do it down here on the third fret of the E string, because then you pull off to open the string. Actually, for whatever reason, I find that harder, but... But, you know, just practice whatever way is easiest for you. And some people use their ring finger for this high note. Um, others will use a pinky. You know, use whatever works. I suggest using your pinky just so your pinky will get more used to hard work on the guitar. So that's how to play basics of how to play diminished arpeggios.